je voudrais tout d'abord adresser mes sincères félicitations à notre cher Miguel Angel Moratinos pour l'organisation à Fès du 9e Forum de l'Alliance des civilisations des Nations Unies. Birukim Abaim, Mahaba Bikum, bienvenue à tous dans la capitale spirituelle du Royaume du Maroc, la cité de la tolérance et de la convivance, la cité qui a donné asile aux Juifs et aux Andalous en 1492 et qui a reçu en son sien Maïmonide. تحاول أن تعيد تعريف دور القيادة الدينية في عالم له هذه الشروط التي نراها ونعيشها عالم قد أضحى رقميا بامتياز عالم أصبحت المنافسة فيه للاستئثار بالانتباه بالشراسة التي نراها فإذا لم تكن المضامين التي يتقدم بالقادة الدينيون بالجاذبية الكافية التي يمكن أن تجلب انتباه أجيال زاد وأجيال ألفا فإن فعل زابي سوف يشتغل الأجيال الراهنة الآن هي أجيال الأب والأب يعني القدرة على الإبحار في العوالم التي تكاد تكون غير متناهية من المعطيات ومن المعلومات ستبنمون de l'Alliance des civilisations des Nations Unies a une importance capitale pour euh, le Maroc, bien entendu, puisqu'il a reçu. Mais euh, j'ai voulu, euh, au cours de mon intervention, euh, euh, centrer mes propos sur le rôle essentiel euh, du Sa Majesté le Roi en tant que commandeur des croyants c'est-à-dire commandeur des croyants, de tous les croyants, pas seulement les musulmans, mais aussi les juifs et les chrétiens, et comme un des acteurs euh, essentiels, cruciaux de l'harmonie, du respect et des minorités et dans notre beau pays qu'est le Maroc. It's been such a blessing and a beautiful privilege to be here at this Fez Forum in Morocco by the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations and the Kingdom of Morocco. The UNAOC is doing such beautiful and critical work of helping people understand that just as our human body has lots of individual cells, but they're only one body and they need to stay together as one body. In the same way, we have all of our different civilizations, but ultimately we are one humanity. Different humans, but one humanity. Like different cells, but one body. And to have it here in Fez with the Kingdom of Morocco is so powerful because Fez is the land of declarations of peace, of harmony, of understanding, of togetherness. And to once again be in Morocco, this beautiful land of peace and of harmony and of respect and of action. Action is such a great joy and I'm so honored to be able to be here. Well, first of all, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here for many reasons, um, but one is because of the authenticity of every one of the speakers and every one of the participants. You know, there's no one who comes here who's here for artificial reasons. Uh, and so that uh, one of the, so each of us speaks from our own traditions, but we speak with the authenticity of our traditions, knowing that we're here with people that share values with us. Uh, so it, it's, it's a pleasure to do, it's a pleasure to affirm in an international setting what we, what we believe in our hearts and what we know that we share with other religious leaders around the world. The challenge for us, as I said in the panel, is not so much what we who share these values uh, can say in these kinds of settings, as international as it is and as representative as it is, but there's so much challenge in the world of people that don't accept what we say, who are suspicious of what we say, are cynical of what we say. And the, and the and challenge for us is not how we affirm each other, how we embrace each other, 
how we how we acknowledge the legitimacy and the truth of the other. The challenge is for us to be able to take these words and show in the world that's suffering so much, in the world where people are so doubtful that there's a future for them because of climate, because of other, because of hatred, uh, that in fact there's something that we can uh, that 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 there's hope that we can bring to them. But not only hope that there's a commitment to build the world that's uh, that that's worth living in. Entre monde d'individualisme et d'hyper compétitivité, il y a et on le remarque tous une grande perte de la majorité des repères éthiques, religieux, spirituels, etc. Mais paradoxalement, au sein de ce grand chaos mondial, il y a l'émergence d'un besoin urgent d'une quête de sens et de spiritualité que l'on perçoit un peu partout autour de nous. 